Gordon, a senior in the Dartmouth High School marching band. My name, is, my name is Logan Fernandes. I've been in the band for two years. I play the euphonium, also called the baritone. Hi, I'm Jonathan beck and I'm a freshman. Um, I'm Kate Jones, I'm a sophomore. I play marimba in the pit. Uh, my name's Will Labossier, and I'm section leader of the pit in the band. The pit is like, it's any kind of percussion that you wouldn't find in the drum line, so it's like concert instruments, like mallet instruments, and auxiliary percussion, so it's anything that you can't march. Um, as an alto saxophone player, I can promise you that uh, we're not very loud or heard at all, so we're probably actually the most least important instrument in the band. I mean that as serious as possible, though. It's fun to play the saxophone, but we're not important at all. For the most part, it's pretty uh, light, like uh, lighthearted, but we know when to like reel it back in and get the show good, and we need to get good. Um, but sometimes it can get pretty, uh, pretty wacky. I mean, uh, people have told me last year that it's where the season gets fun, and you know. I, I definitely have to agree with that one. <laughs> the members of the marching band are the most immature people that you're ever going to meet on this planet. Mondays are our safe days. We're off those days every week. Tuesdays and Thursdays, nighttime practices, Wednesdays right after school. Uh, usually Fridays will be football games if they're home, and there we perform our show, play the little ditties in the stands next door to the real fans. Um, and then Saturdays and Sundays we'll either have shows or practices. Uh, the shows, you practice for like three hours or so here, and then you get to eat dinner or lunch or whatever time of the day it is. Uh, you have a meal, uh, and then you get on the bus, and however that long that takes, it takes. We suit up in our uniforms, instruments, and then we just warm up, march, play and then we perform the show that we've been working on for months and months. Afterwards, there are awards. We find out how well we did and we go home just to do it all over next week. Kurt, first competition goes well, then you know that we're doing pretty well and um, and we can only go stronger from there, hopefully. It was, it was pretty good. Well, we didn't get a, go as, get the highest score as we did last year, but uh, we still were the highest scoring band there and we did pretty well. But yeah, we're, we're always the team to be or band to be when it comes down to the national championships. We used to walk around like we had a cool chip on our shoulder, but not anymore. Dartmouth was always a consistent winner, um, but recently within the past three years, we've been second best, which isn't a bad thing. It's just a bit demoralizing for the people that expect greatness. Um, from my point of view, I don't think we were bad or anything. We're just, you know, it, our time is up, and if we want to keep having that first place trophy on our side, we have to work for it. I can I can see how uh, I feel like it, it definitely is a pretty important year because we're there are a lot of new kids and we're sort of like setting the the foundation for like years down the road. Hopefully, they'll be like hardworking seniors like like the seniors we have this year. Um, and years past, so we're sort of setting the foundation for like the work ethic and like the practice etiquette for them. The group's kind of getting younger. We add more eighth graders to the mix every single year, and at the same time, those eighth graders just come in not knowing anything about the marching band. So really, it just falls upon the leaders or the upperclassmen to just exemplify exactly what they came into the band with. So we need to treat the eighth graders the way that we were treated in order to actually get a sense of what the marching band should be like. I mean, as an upperclassman, I'd have to say they're like really young and inexperienced, but I'm sure they're like that every year to the oldest kids there. They just have to really think about what they're going for right now. They have to realize what marching band is all about. They have to go back and watch past shows. We have to just do a better job as leaders if we want to encourage them the way that we were encouraged. None of them are bad. They're just a little inexperienced, a little mentally young. Now that we're in the actual com com competing part of the season, uh, I don't know, maybe they'll get a sense of what it actually should be. But it's literally just all about time and dedication. Um, 
But even if we don't get first, then, you know, it's good to get first, but if we don't, then whatever. It's still a good show, a good show. Uh, we've consistently ranked the highest band in every show we've been to. Uh, people are feeling really good about it, uh, including BK, which is important, uh, and we're all hopeful. I think we have a very solid chance of winning this year. In the beginning, it was kind of nerve-wracking, and no one really expected it, but soon enough, we reached that kind of point in the season where we were doing better than in the past, and we, we all just kind of knew that it was coming. Yeah, I mean, we lost a couple seniors from the pit. We had a lot of new kids. I think a lot of us weren't expecting a lot going into this season, but by the end of it, we all kind of knew it's going to happen. Yeah, I think... I think the defining point or the turning point would probably be when like we all just came together and performed a really good show before nationals and we all looked at it and we just knew that we were going to win. There was one show towards the end of the season which was a regional where we competed against people in divisions bigger than us and after sweeping that we kind of knew that we were gonna win. Yeah, it was very emotional time. Everyone was crying at the end when we when we won, and it was. It's kind of like a stress was relieved, and it was stressful to see if we would win or not. But yeah, it was like a weight taken off. I mean, it was very emotionally taxing. I, I cried in the tunnel before we went on, and definitely a lot after we got got off. It, it felt good to finally reach a like a climax to like the months and months that we've been working towards. When we won, winning was pretty cool. The last time I had done it was my freshman year, so it was, it was kind of reinvigorating to get that feeling again, but with a whole new crowd of people. This is my third year, but I've never won anything, so this was pretty... It was good to win. Oh, it was absolutely nice to go out on a high note. I, in the past, like seniors will come in second place and leave on a sort of disappointment, but this was pretty good. Well, as a result of there being a lot of new kids in the band this season, uh, the group was a lot younger and the dynamic was different, but in the end we still won, so I feel like the kids really put, put it together and really made this group flourish. Like I said, as long as you do like as great as you can possibly do, and uh, everybody does as great as they can possibly do for that time, um, then as long as you feel good about it, then I'd say it's a good performance. It's not really like a sport. You don't just get good at it sometimes by doing it. You have to be at like every practice and commit everything to muscle memory. And that's how you improve yourself. You have to always be conscious about what's going on. You just have to think about things. And if you miss even one practice, that brings you down a whole step. And the entire group is as good as its lowest person. <laughs>